Welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited to be getting into the reading today. We're going to be looking at the next 72 hours of energy. We're going to try to see what information comes up. Of course, if you want a personal, check out the information listed in the description. Hopefully you find this helpful. Any information you need will be below. And let's go ahead and flip the camera so you guys can see what the cards look like. Capricorns, let's jump in. No, let's start with this deck, actually. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. General messages coming through at the moment. Okay, so we have walking away and all tied up. So you're sick of somebody's shit. <laughs> Excuse my language, but that's literally how I feel. And that's the way you guys are feeling because that's what I'm picking up. <laughs> so you guys are tired of somebody's foolishness or like the intricate nature of what goes into dealing with a particular person it may be just a whole bunch of twists and turns that you don't expect for one and things that you later find out about like this person keeping secrets this person not being upfront about certain things or it's like what you may have been okay with previously like the dynamic of the relationship what may have came with this person uh, how intricate their situation is now is starting to really get up under your skin and it could be a situation where you really don't want to deal with the extraness but you still love the person which is 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 really real um and i see it in the cards because mentally it's like yeah physically you want to go mentally you're still kind of stuck there I also see for others of you, if it's not you being sick of somebody's shit, you could be dealing with a ghosting scenario where you're dealing with somebody who just like randomly ghosted you and you just don't understand why, like what caused this person to ghost you. You could have an inclination of why this person ghosted you, but why they haven't still reached back out to you or why they haven't taken any initiative to fix things after ghosting you. Let's keep going. I have victory and I also have angel of love. So a lot of you, what may be keeping you in a situation you don't want to be in is the fact that you don't want to miss out on this being a successful relationship or you guys making it through the storm. You, you could be feeling like the issues you guys are experiencing are kind of temporary and that could be keeping you there. Now, beyond love, I actually see where a lot of you really just want to walk away from like the life that you have now. I don't mean that in a depressive way, but more so like there's so much you would like to be doing right now. And you could be feeling like either certain people are holding you back or the circumstance that you're in is holding you back. So this could be you want to, you know, maybe leave your state and, and move to a different state and get a new job opportunity and live like a whole brand new life. But you could have obligations where you stay. You could have things that are keeping you from doing that. You could even want freedom in terms of a job. And you want to quit that job, but then it would be a situation where it's like, well, if I quit my job, is this going to make sense for me in the long term? So it's a lot of thinking and worrying that's going on. Especially when it comes to what you have in your life at the moment and how long lasting those things are just in general. We have a man holding a heart, deceit, and we also have goddess in the moon. So yeah, you could be feeling like a love interest theory is keeping some sort of secrets, isn't being all the way honest with you about their situation, um, or just leaving pieces of information out. And this could be involving another person. I don't want to focus on that being the main thing, though. Deceit could be just lying about details of a particular situation or circumstance. And some of you, yes, infidelity. But um, a lot of you also, you can't keep lying to yourself. It's like, yeah, you do genuinely care about someone, but you also feel like you don't deserve all the extraness that comes with this individual. 
And the more you keep like trying to lie to yourself and act like you're okay with it, the more that you kind of lose yourself in the situation. So Spirit is saying, do not lose your situation, lose yourself in this situation, especially for somebody who is a trickster, somebody who could be even sneaky in their energy. Capricorns, what's coming through here? Okay, so we have the World Card, Ten of Wands, Ten of Cups, King of Wands, Ace of Swords. Yeah, so I see that you guys are learning a valuable lesson in regards to a family situation. Whether this is you finally getting divorced and you're able to peace out of a really negative marriage or living situation or you learn in a lesson in terms of like family like your mother father that dynamic there could be things that you're starting to see now have come full circle and now you understand certain things about your family situation about why certain individuals move the way that they move a lot of you are also just being at peace with like separating yourself from a family situation where you could have like certain individuals who are like kind of passive aggressive about your life situation you could be like deciding to not talk to those family members anymore i'm getting aries sagittarius or leo energy a lot of you also when it comes to your personal happiness Again, you could be feeling like there's things that you want to do that make you happy, but because you may not have, let's say, support in terms of your family, you could have a, a child that's not being cared for for the other parent, the person you had a child with, or they're not giving you any type of support. Let's pull some cards from here. This deck, actually. Capricorns. Message they need to hear right now. So we have embrace your freedom. The back of this card reads, you gain a huge amount of freedom when you take nothing personally. No spell can affect you regardless of how strong it may be. And if you live without fear, if you love, you will be happy with your life. So this is understanding that you have freedom by not giving energy to things that you don't want to give energy to. If you give energy to fear, you will always be held captive by fear and you'll never live your life the way that you truly want to live it. Whether that's you want to take a leap of faith in entrepreneurship and you allow fear, anxiety, worry, negative thoughts, doubt to keep you from living your best life, then you're going to always be held captive to those energies. You also gain freedom when you allow yourself to not feel like you're stuck anywhere that you don't want to be stuck. And this is when you remove the need to attach yourself to things that don't have to be so personal. Let's pull one more card. Capricorns. Everything, no, not everything. Everyone has value. Okay, so this is understanding that, yes, everyone has a value. And you personally, you're valuable. And it's a need for you to understand that you don't need to be putting Kmart prices on, <laughs> on yourself when you're really Chanel prices, when you're really, you know, Dolce & Gabbana. I, not to be materialistic, I'm just using it as a, you guys know what I mean. I'm using it as a, Oh, dang. Not the word just... Anyways, you guys know what I mean. With the card here, though, everyone has value. This is understanding that, yes, you deserve more. And you should never put yourself on discount, on sale for anybody. Point blank, period. But this is the message I have for you. I hope that this was helpful. If you did enjoy, definitely thumbs up the video and subscribe. And I will see you later. Bye.